Hi, I hope you're having a great day and I hope you had a great Sunday. Well, today I want to talk about fat. One of the biggest, one of the biggest myths we've had over the longest time is that fat makes you fat. Well, we need to understand today everything has changed completely. We've been lied to. Fat doesn't make you fat. The bad quality fat and too much of fat will make you fat. The same thing with protein. I know protein is really good for us, but if you have too much of protein and it doesn't get used, it's going to make you fat as well. The biggest lie ever told to us is that fat makes you fat. So people started going oil free, people started going fat free, and then you had a whole new host of problems. People started losing their hair, young people started looking old rapidly, their skin started sagging, they lost the glow, they started having hyperpigmentation. One of the biggest problems we faced when we went low fat was a change in your hormonal balance. So younger girls got PCOD, women and men who tried to jump onto these fat-free diets, they started having more irritability, more issues with their hormones, premenopause, painful period cycles, a lot of belly fat in the belly area, all of that because we try to go fat-free. Fat is a macronutrient. Your cells need it. You may think you don't need it, but your body doesn't care about what you think is right for you. Your body cares about survival. It needs carbohydrates, it needs fats, and it needs proteins. Anyone who tells you other than that, change. Absolutely change immediately, I'll tell you why. We need the right amount of carbohydrates. If carbohydrates were not required, it would not exist. But it exists in the very foods that nature has given us. Anyway, we're gonna talk about fats today. If you are low on fat, you don't have fuel for your brain. Fat is a source of energy. To sell carbohydrates and junk food and processed foods which are rich in carbohydrates, there was paid research, paid research and paid science to make us believe that carbohydrates are great for us, sugars are great for us, and fats are bad. But today we understand that medical science is reversing and we find that we need healthy fats for our brain health. We need it to prevent Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, dementia, cognitive brain disorders and all of that stuff. We need it for the production of hormones. A lot of our hormones require a precursor of fat. So if you don't have fat, you cannot produce the right quality and the right quantity of hormones. We need it for our sex hormones to be produced. So if you have less fat in your body in terms of your ingestion of fat, you have a lower libido, reproductive problems, inability to conceive, and which industry thrives is the IVF industry. Not against it. But we should understand that we are presenting ourselves as the product for all these services because we are not eating the right way. Cholesterol, for the longest time, cholesterol is a kind of fat. Too much of it is bad. Too little of it is even worse. So when we get onto statins, to shut down the complete production of cholesterol, what happens? We start having muscle spasms, we start feeling tired, fatigued, our skin changes, we have pain all over our body, we become candidates for osteoporosis because we need cholesterol for the health of our bones. We need cholesterol for hormones that can protect our bones at the same time. So you see, that is why we need to really start looking at lifestyle and living in balance. Living in balance. You need good fats. You know, saturated fats, polyunsaturated fats, monounsaturated fats, we need all of them in balance. Where do we find some of the healthiest fats today? Number one, okay, all saturated fats are not bad for us. When you have a cold pressed coconut oil, it is a great fat for your body, for your weight, for your metabolism, for everything. When you use pure ghee, it is a pure fat, a great fat for us. You overeat coconut oil and you overeat ghee, of course you're gonna put on weight because your body cannot use excess energy for anything it doesn't need it for, so it stores it as fat. You find great fats in avocados. You don't like avocados, you find them in all of your nuts and your seeds, your almonds, your cashew nuts, your pecans, your walnuts, all of the nuts which are unsalted, okay, these are great healthy fats for you. Then you have your omega-3 fats, very necessary for your weight loss, very necessary for your brain health and several functions. So vegetarians get them from flax seeds, we get them from walnuts, we get them from chia seeds, and non-vegetarians get them from fatty acids found in fatty fish and certain meats. If you don't have enough of these foods, then you need to supplement your omega-3, which your health professional will give you. But let us understand today, there are millions of people living with a deficiency of omega-3. 
And that's a big problem for your cognitive health, your brain health, your fat burn and everything else. So you want to get that checked out. What are the other foods? Cheese. If you like cheese, good. But not the diet cheese, the low-fat cheese. That's useless for you. Not low-fat milk, not low-fat yogurt. You need to add, have full-fat milk, full-cream milk, full-fat yogurt if you eat dairy. That is where all the magic is. When you go low-fat and all of your low-fat foods, they've replaced the fat with carbohydrates and sugar because it tastes horrible. So all the low-fat yogurts that you're eating, they're loaded with sugar. All your low-fat creams, all your low-fat beverages, your low-fat sauces are loaded with sugar. So please understand that full fat was never a problem. Low-fat is a marketing gimmick. In fact, people on low-fat diets never lose weight. They lose two to three kilos and they put on all the weight back and they have stubborn belly fat, stubborn fat on the back of their thighs, cellulite all over their bodies because they're going low-fat. You need to understand that everything has to be done in balance. There is no shortcut to weight loss. The more shortcuts you try to find, the more frustrated you're going to get, and the more far, more further your goal is going to be. There are no shortcuts to weight loss. You have to do everything. You got to eat clean, the right quantity at the right time. You got to exercise in a way that suits your body, rest and recovery. You got to put in your sleep the right amount of sleep for weight loss, you've got to take care of your stress, what's going on in your mind and what's going on in your heart. So coming back to the foods, good quality cheese, good quality dairy products are great fats for you. We spoke about avocados, we spoke about all the nuts. Let's talk about seeds, pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, flax seeds, chia seeds. These are great fats, healthy fats for you. If you're non-vegetarian, you'll find it in beef, you'll find it in certain fatty fish. These are great sources of fat for you as well. P.O. coconut oil, cold pressed, P.O. ghee, fantastic fats, energy, thermogenesis, thermogenic foods, great for your hormones, great for your skin, great for your hair, great for your sex hormones, great for your joints. It is fabulous, these amount of fats that exist all around. Coconut, just don't drink the coconut water, eat the meat in the coconut. I love how people ask, will I get fat drinking coconut water? Will I get fat eating coconut meat? But they don't ask the same thing about a packet of cookies. They don't ask the same question about bakery products. They don't ask the same thing about a samosa that they're overdoing it on. So let's understand, get your facts right. The right fats will help you burn body fat. The right fats will increase your metabolism. metabolism. It'll increase the ability for your body to burn fat. The worst fats for you are your bakery products any fats that contain trans fats. So that's why I read the labels of your products. If they have trans fats, do not consume those products. The third thing are your fats. Yeah, we spoke about bakery products. We spoke about trans fats. I'm talking about vegetable oils. These are the worst oils. That's why they're so cheap for you because they're cheap. They become household items. I'm sorry, that's going to have to change. You may have to shell out a little more money. That's if you care about your health. But all of your vegetable oils are poison. They're slow poison. They are refined oils linked to inflammation. Inflammation is linked to cancer, diabetes, insulin resistance, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's. You name the disease that is classified as inflammatory and you link your refined oils with it. So you need to understand if you want the cost of cold pressed oils, Pyogi, to come down in our market, you need to start consuming it more. Because it's not consumed, all of the refined oil companies are thriving on us as the product. They have volume and that's why they can reduce the price. But as you start utilizing more of the cold pressed oils or going to your mill in your own village and getting freshly extracted coconut oil, today you get machines which you can keep at home, small machines. You can extract your own oil. You can extract your own oil from coconut and other nuts and seeds. But you need to understand that vegetable oils, all of your canola oils, you know, olive oil, which has been used for Indian cooking, changed olive oil, which they claim can be used for Indian cooking. All of these are finely, highly processed and highly refined. You have to consume cold pressed oils or piogi. It's up to you in the right quantity and the right quality. You cannot go wrong with fats. But the moment you start decreasing fats because you think you're going to lose weight, that's the biggest mistake you will ever make for your skin, your hair, your heart health, your kidneys, your liver, everything. You need fat, period. You need fat. When you are breastfeeding as a child, 
mother's milk is 60 to 70 percent of fat why because fat is required to boost the immune system it is required for the growth of the child from a small infant to a young kid it is required for their hair for their hormones for their sex hormones for their skin and everything else so when you look at how nature presents itself to all of us fat isn't a bad thing the wrong quality and too much of fat is bad for you. Have a great week ahead. Until next time, eat smart, move more, sleep right, and breathe deep.